This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So guys, this is the third video on binary tree. So, so far what we have seen, so far we have seen uh, pre-order and in-order binary tree traversal. Today we will talk about post-order traversal in binary tree. So let's take the same example of this particular binary tree that that tree is already created. Now what exactly I'm going to do that in post-order traversal, what you have to do that in post or traverse so the sequence will be like this the first you have to visit the left tree okay the left subtree and then you visit the right subtree and then you visit the node whatever the node that you have so left right and node that you have to visit in case of what post order okay so post order traversal binary bt bt means binary tree traversal so let's take the same example that uh, this is a tree, root node is the 40. So how will you do that? So for doing this, first uh, it will go to the root node and go to the left one. 20 is there, but 20 is also having the left one, so 10 is there. So it will pick 10 first, okay? So we will write 10. Once the 10 is visible, then it will go to immediate right. Who is the right of 10? 30. So it will go to 30 over there. Then it will visit the node. The sequence is left, right, and node. And then what is a node? Node is 20. Okay, 20 is a root node for these two guys. Or you can say the parent node of these two guys. After that, after that, where exactly it will go? Okay, it will go to the left side of this guy. Sorry, right side of this guy. So 20, the right side is 60, but 60 is already having one left node. So it will go 250. Then it will go to its right, 70. And then it will go to its parent, 60 and then the, the final the root node is 40. So this is the sequence. Remember, post order traversal means go to left side, left subtree, then right subtree, and then go to the node. So I'll repeat. We will start from 40, but 40 is having already having one left. 20 is also having one left, so it will go to 10. Because 10 is not having anything. Right? So 10 is having a null right and null left. Okay, a null left and null right. So in that case, what will happen? In that case, it will pick 10, then we go to its right 30, then it will go to 20. Then before going to 40, it will go to its right side. Because 20 is the left of 40, so it will go to its right side, it's 60. Okay, but before 60, it's already having one left side over here. So left node is 50, then go to its right 70, and then go to 60, and then what is pending them back to the parent node is 40. So the sequence will be like this, 10, 30, 20, 50, 70, 60, 40. Right, so first we will create the nodes, we will connect the nodes, and then we will do a recursively we will uh, traverse post order. So let's see how to do this. So this program is already created with three node in the previous examples. Also, I have already told you that uh, we are creating multiple nodes over here and then connecting the nodes like uh, connecting the dots like this. And that's it. After that, I'm going to create one method which is let's see public. Uh, void, I'll create a method. My method name is, let's see, uh, this is my post order traversal. And this guy says, okay, you give me the node. So I'll give him the node, three node, the node over here. Like this. Okay, I'll do one thing. Let me copy paste here inside the class. And uh, in this particular class, what I'm going to do first, I simple first check that, okay, if your whatever the node that you are passing or instead of node let's see i'll say that okay uh sorry. this is my tree node what is the uh, root node that you are passing so this is my root is not equal to null then what do you want then as i told you first we have to capture the what left right so left right and node so i simply say that okay from the Okay, call this particular method. Once again, recursively, root dot left, go to the left, and then root dot right. Okay, and then from the root, we just print the data. Sorry. Let me remove this, and then you print the data that from the root dot data. You have to print okay along with some space and i'll remove the print element so that it will print in the same line so go to the left then go to the right 
and then you try to print the data. Okay, so recursively we will be doing that. So when you visit the node by printing a node data like this, we will be doing it. And now I'll be creating a main method over here. And let's see this logic is working fine or not. So public static void main. And I'm going to create the object of this particular class. So obj is equal to new class name. And then I'll be creating my calling this particular data. Okay, method to create the nodes and then connect the nodes. So connect the dots. So this will give you tree node. Oh, sorry, why this? Sorry, guys. So tree node I'll be using. And uh, this is my root. Let's see, I'll be storing inside a root node like this. And after that, what do you want? After that, let's see, I'll get some name instead of root. I'll be writing root node. And then I'll be calling this particular method. So how to call? With the help of obj dot this and root node i'll be passing over here you pass the root node right in post order traversal method so root node will be given to this guy means this entire tree will be given to this guy and then go to its a uh, left so it will go to its left so then 20 10 30 will be given to this guy once again recursively then 20 this particular tree will be given 20, 30, 10. Then again, it will come over here and then it go to left side. It means go to 10. So again, 10 will be given to this guy. Okay. And then right, we don't have any right. So whatever data is available, it means 10 will be given. Then 30, 20, like that. Okay. So let's run it and let's see. So <clears throat> let's see it's matching with our output or not. So 10, 30, 20, like this we are getting. And we will be printing it on the console scene over here. So yeah, exact output we are getting. Are you getting my point? So I'll repeat. See, first we create a node. We are passing the root node to this guy. It means entire tree will be given. 40, 20, and everything will be given to this guy. Then go to its left. Pick its left. Left is what? 20. So 20, 10, 30. So this subtree will be given to this guy. Okay. To this particular method once again. It will check. No, it's just still not null okay yeah it's not null then again if we come over here root dot left it will go to the left side we go to the 10 then this particular node will be given it's just still not equal to null yes correct so root dot left do we have left no we don't have do we have right no we don't have okay so in that case what exactly will print it will give you the data in that case okay so 10 will be given to this guy and uh, again 10 is not null left and right again we don't have any left and right so there is no use of these methods and then to directly pick the data 10 will be given to this guy and the sequence will be over like this okay so we are getting this so what we have seen guys pre-order in order and post-order traversal we have seen that so these are three very very important interpretation very simple don't be okay don't get scared unnecessary about this they just want to know the recursively how exactly you are going to do that so remember the sequence so this is my pre-order if you remember that in pre-order uh what exactly we're doing in pre-order first you get the data go to the left side and then go to the right side and uh in order what exactly you are doing you go to left then data and then right but in post order first you go to left right and data okay left right and data in post order so remember these three sequences don't get confused between these three uh, traversals and then you are good to go perfectly fine perfectly easy and people are Expecting that okay, how exactly you are creating a tree node and how exactly you are uh, uh, connecting those tree nodes with the parent and child node like this. And once this is ready, you just need to write a recursive logic over here, and that's it. You're good to go. So remember these three recursive uh, sequence, and then you can easily solve any problem with respect to binary tree. Okay, perfect. So that's all for this particular video, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying, and uh, I'll be trying to create some more videos on binary tree some more interesting videos on binary tree. So keep watching Navin Automation Labs and if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much, guys.